Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about isolation as I'm isolated up here in the forest. On the way up here I was just thinking about something and that's like how people have a certain amount of confusion when it comes down to thinking about what bodybuilding really is, right? Bodybuilding is different than a lot of sports when it comes down to the science of building different muscles. And what happens is right now people try to crossfit bodybuilding where they say everything is a full body movement or a compound movement and you cannot isolate or overly focus the stress on one individual area or not uh, because that's not sports specific or that's going to cause some sort of injury like they've been told all these bedtime horror stories or fairy tales about what's going to happen to the body if they don't bench press all the way down and all the way up or, or whatever right but one of the funny things is that people know that bodybuilding is the weight training sport out of all the different types of weight training sports bodybuilding is the one that does do a lot of isolation movements because the compounds weren't enough to develop certain areas right like a lot of a lot of people would deadlift bent over row right and then find out hey their rear delts aren't big enough so then they'd have to do some sort of rear delt isolation type of exercise or they'd find out their triceps aren't big enough even though they're using their triceps during the bench press so they have to do some tricep press downs or overhead extensions or skull crushers right and, and the same thing with biceps my twin brother and i i mean we would train and my brother would not train biceps as much and and i trained my biceps more and my biceps got bigger right so basically isolations are a necessary practice in bodybuilding so it's not the same for everybody but there's going to be some instances where you'll find that it's absolutely necessary in order for you to get that muscle to grow and to be in balance or harmony with the rest of the body from a bodybuilding sym symmetry point of view right now if we say isolation which is basically another fancy word for concentrating the tension on one area of the body we can also say that refining range of motion can concentrate tension on certain parts of the body. So say when you're squatting all the way down, you notice that there are different muscles that come into play at different parts of the range of motion. But if you wanted to concentrate all of that tension on one specific or specific group of muscles that gave you the biggest benefit in the area where you wanted to put it, one could argue that using a certain range of motion, however limited it might be, is the best possible thing for you. Sometimes it might be only a few inches of range of motion in the most stretched state, or it might be a few inches of the range of motion at the top or the middle range of the movement. But one could say that you're using all of your energy in that moment to fatigue certain muscles. So there was a comment that was just made on uh, my bench press technique because in the latest videos I've been touching my chest with bench press and, and coming up almost all the way. But there are a lot of videos where I was doing bench presses where I'm just concentrating the tension on the area where I feel the chest the most because I find that when I use my energy to extend or lock out, I start to include the delts too much. Or if I come down too low, sometimes I feel like I'm getting too much front delt. I can actually feel it. Right? So I find that sweet spot and concentrate all the energy on that. And that is the way that you start to use some of your compounds as isolations. And all of the advanced bodybuilders have done this. It's only misunderstood by beginners or people who don't understand the laws of bodybuilding, which state it's about concentrating the forces on the areas that you specifically want to grow. And sometimes only by doing so, sometimes only by concentrating the forces on that area, can you even get any benefit at all. Because sometimes if you continue to do the full range of motion in a certain lift, the other muscles will continue to take over and the muscles that you want to hit uh, continue to lag behind.
So isolations don't necessarily always have to be an exercise. Sometimes they can be a specific way of training. And the other reason why I want you to embrace this type of thinking isn't because I'm trying to indoctrinate you into some sort of weird cult of some sort of range of motion, but, but I'm just trying to say that you may have some sort of injuries or something that has happened to you that also has prevented you from using a certain range of motion, but it doesn't mean you have to throw the exercise out altogether. Sometimes just by a mild adjustment in the range of motion, you can concentrate the forces on the muscles you want to hit without destroying the joints or making an injury worse. And, and that sometimes can be a very effective way of getting the best of both worlds. So that's the great part about bodybuilding, right? If you learn how to concentrate those forces and those tensions on the muscles and not destroy an injured area, right? Uh, you can continue to get gains and continue to be healthy and get that blood flowing and, and look like a, uh, like a mountain or something, you know? So, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. There's just different types of isolations and you want to break any sort of idealisms that have been trained into you that say it's either full range of motion or nothing, right? Because as beneficial as full range of motion can be in certain circumstances, it sometimes could be detrimental and sometimes it's not necessarily giving you the results you want. So that's why you want to play around with these things and see how the forces are playing out in your body and what's going to give you the best results. Mountain. So I hope this helps out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalglandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the patient supporters where I'm doing a podcast every week talking about this sort of stuff. So if you guys want to tune into that, it's only like five bucks a month and I'll see you there. And if you don't go to the podcast or support me on Patreon, there's a lot of woods out here, a lot of burying space, you know what I'm saying? A lot of space to, you know, dig holes. You get my drift? So I thought, yeah, there's, there's a good place right there, right there too. Yep, lots, I tell you, there's just so many spots. There's so many spots. Natural land.